Welcome to Knicks.com. Jonah Ballo here with Maurice Indoor. And it's exciting to catch up with you because we were in Summer League in Vegas a couple years ago. Yes, sir. We were excited, hopefully, that you would be in a Knicks uniform. It ended up that you signed with Dallas. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You're back here. It's back kind of funny how these things end up, right? Yeah, God, the great guy is amazing. And I think it's a great timing. And I'm really excited to be back in here. Yeah, when we talked at Summer League in Vegas, you really were excited about the opportunity and the chance to play. And when this uh, became you know, a reality again, to come back to New York, what was going through your mind? I just had a big smile on my face. And uh, you know, I was really excited. And I think everybody was excited for me to come back here. And then you know, when I got the call, you know, like I said, I was just very happy. And it you know, feels good to be back. You were really comfortable in the offense a couple years ago, and we saw you had some games where you exploded offensively. Mm -hmm. You were all over the court. Uh, is there a comfortability that you have with the offense and understanding the triangle and some of the tenants that are involved that, that makes it maybe an easier transition for you coming into training camp? Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, uh, playing with Denise uh, last year in the summer league kind of going to give me an edge uh, over the guys. And, uh, you know, I think I'm uh, it's an offense that I'm familiar with, so definitely should be easy for me to come in and adjust, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. You know, for fans that maybe haven't seen some of your games or what you did in college, and shame on them, they should, uh, but what are some of the skill sets that you bring to the table? Uh, I think I'm a guy with a lot of versatility. I mean, I'm, a, I'm able to pass up and then step outside, play on the perimeter. But then again, I pride myself, you know, on defense, on the defensive end on the floor, you know, trying to stop guys, you know, block some shots and just create chaos and just play with a lot of energy. I think, you know, fans are going to be in love with that and, you know, just trying to take no plays off. You know, when I hear that, I think of Joakim Noah because he has a similar mindset True. of creating chaos. That's yes. a great way of describing it. Are you excited about the oh, chance to go to camp excited. with him? Yeah. Very excited, man. I think he's a, if, if he's the one of those guys that I, for a guy like me, I have to look up to because yeah. we kind of play the same way. We've got, they have a lot of similarities. I mean, he played with a great energy. He gives you 110% ninety night out. You know, you don't take no players off, and he's a leader out there, so I'm very excited for that. How has your game evolved over the years? We saw what you did in college, very successful, and then now an opportunity to play in the NBA. Do you feel like you've grown and matured as a player and added some things to your arsenal? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, playing last year going to Dallas, I definitely had the chance, you know, to learn a from uh, great players, you know, we had Dirk Nowitzki, and then going to Europe, even though European basketball is a little bit different from the U.S., um, you know, I had a chance to, you know, compete and then learn from uh, great European players, and, uh, you know, a lot of that, you know, going to add to my game, and, you know, I think it helps me mature and just be more comfortable when I'm out there on the court. You know, it's interesting with all the European players on this team, you're a player that has, <laughs> what, five languages you speak? About six now. Six, six oh, and a okay. half. Excuse I picked, me. I picked, I picked, six and a half. I picked, I picked up a little bit of Spanish, you know, when okay. I was there. So, and I took it in junior high school. So, you know, it, it felt good to be out there and just learn the language again and just speak and then just hear people speaking in Spanish. So, it was cool. Which one, if you had to pick a language to speak, what would be the one that you you pick? Probably English. Okay. Yeah, that's I, lo I love speaking English, you know, but, and plus. I listen to a lot of reggae music and okay. most of the songs are in English, so definitely English. And then another one is Spanish. I like Spanish. I think it's, it's great. being able to Spanish kind of puts a style into it, you okay. know, just because of the way you speak and the words and yeah. everything, yeah. So off the floor, when you're not uh, in the gym, on the basketball floor, what are you up to? Uh, you can find on my couch listening to reggae music, you know, playing the drum and just enjoying nature. You know, I think uh, there's a big reason people call me Nature Boy. <laughs> Is that the nickname? Uh, that's the nickname. Okay. And then, you know, I love nature, so I love to be out there, you know, on the balcony and just look at the nature, you know, breathe, breathe some fresh air and just enjoy life. Where's one of the spots that you've traveled to where nature and in one of the great serene places um, maybe you've been to? When it comes to nature, out here in New York is New Rochelle. I used to go to the Hudson Park a lot okay. and just chill by the rocks, you know, listen to the waves and this old green grass is beautiful. Yeah. What about worldwide? Worldwide, um, I have to go with uh, two countries. One is, uh, one is Spain. And another one is the Philippines. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, it's really nice, and beautiful out there. You can go to some spots where you kind of get away from the craziness of the world and just yeah. 
be in a peaceful mindset and peaceful environment. I really love it. You know, you're kind of sounding like Phil Jackson now with <laughs> his approach. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a compliment. <laughs> yes, very you. much Thank so. You. <laughs> very much so. That mindfulness, you know, the way that he approaches things, uh, you know, kind of transitioning from that sort of state mm -hmm. of being onto the basketball yeah, court. I think, you know, I think the things you do off the court, you know, kind of reflects, you know, on, on the court too, you know, just you have to enjoy life at the end of the day. You can't just stress, stress yourself about, you know, little things here and there. And, you know, when you're out there and you're in a peaceful environment, it helps you focus. And when you're on the court, it's the same things that you need, that focus that you need, you know, and just being able to shut everything off and focus on the task. So, yeah. Wow, some great lessons learned. I already feel calm. So. Center, I'm ready to go for the season. Through the bridge. Bro. <laughs> <I know. laughs> right. All right, excellent stuff. Well, we'll catch up with you throughout the season. So Thank excited you. you're back. Uh, I was one championing you uh, in summer league. I thought you had a great outing. So it's fun to have you back on the team. Thank and you, uh, my man. Uh, we'll be catching up with Maurice Endor right yes, here sir. on Knicks.com.